the power of a good intro cannot be overstated. Hook your audience from the start. It's the key to keeping them engaged. A good intro is like a firm handshake. It sets the tone for the entire interaction. It makes a lasting first impression that can determine the success of your message. In writing, your intro is your golden opportunity to grab the reader's attention right away. You want them to be curious, to feel an urge to know more. You want them to keep reading, to stay with you through the entire piece. Think of a time you were immediately drawn into a book or article. What was it that captivated you? Was it a surprising fact? Maybe a relatable anecdote? Or perhaps a provocative question? These elements can make your intro stand out and hook your audience effectively. Intros are crucial for any type of writing. Blog posts, essays, even emails. They set the stage for what's to come. A strong intro can make your content more engaging, persuasive and memorable. It's worth taking the time to get it right. A well-crafted intro can be the difference between success and failure. Let's dive into how to craft intros that captivate your audience and make them eager to hear what you have to say. Ready to write better intros? Let's go. Together, we'll explore techniques and tips to make your intros shine. Crafting your intro, a step-by-step -step guide. Writing a compelling intro doesn't have to be daunting. Here's a simple step-by-step -step process. Know your audience. Who are you writing for? What are their interests? Tailor your intro to resonate with them. Start strong. Begin with a hook. This could be a question, a surprising statement, or a brief story. Set the stage. Briefly introduce your topic and why it matters. Keep it concise. Your intro should be short and to the point, usually no more than a paragraph or two. Remember, your intro is a promise to the reader. It tells them what to expect and why they should care. Keep it focused and engaging. Engaging questions. Spark curiosity and drive participation. They are the key to unlocking deeper engagement and active participation from your audience. Questions are powerful tools in writing. They invite the reader to think, reflect and engage with your content. When used effectively, they can transform passive readers into active participants. Here's how to use them effectively. Ask open-ended questions. These types of questions encourage a more thoughtful and detailed response. Instead of questions with a simple yes or no answer, ask questions that encourage deeper thinking. This approach fosters a richer dialogue and more meaningful engagement. For example, instead of, do you like to travel, try. What's your most memorable travel experience? This not only sparks curiosity, but also invites personal storytelling. Relate to your audience. Ask questions your readers can connect with. This connection makes your content more relatable and engaging. If you're writing about productivity, you might ask, feeling overwhelmed by your to-do list. This question resonates with many and opens up a conversation about common struggles. Don't overdo it. Too many questions can feel overwhelming. Balance is key to maintaining interest without causing fatigue. Use them strategically to pique interest and guide the reader. Well-placed questions can lead to deeper insights and a more interactive experience. By asking engaging questions, you invite your audience to become active participants in your writing. This not only enhances their experience, but also enriches the overall dialogue. Seamless transitions. Flow from one section to the next. J. 
Just like stepping stones help you cross a stream without getting wet, transitions help your writing move smoothly from one idea to another. Transitions are the bridges that connect different parts of your writing. They ensure that your readers can follow your thoughts without feeling lost or confused. They help your ideas flow smoothly and prevent your content from feeling choppy. Imagine a river that flows without interruption. That's how your writing should feel to your readers. Here are a few ways to create seamless transitions. These techniques will help you maintain a coherent and engaging narrative. Use transition words and phrases. These small but powerful words can make a big difference in how your writing is perceived. Words like however, furthermore, and on the other hand, can signal a shift in thought or introduce a new point. Summarize and preview. This technique helps to keep your audience engaged and informed. Briefly recap the previous point and introduce the next one. This not only reinforces what has been said, but also sets the stage for what is to come. For example, now that we've covered the importance of intros, let's explore how to write engaging questions. Use subheadings. These act as signposts for your readers. Subheadings act as visual cues, guiding the reader through your content and signaling new sections. They break down your writing into manageable chunks. Smooth transitions make your writing more enjoyable to read. They create a rhythm that keeps your audience interested and engaged. They help your audience follow your train of thought and absorb your message effortlessly. With effective transitions, your writing will be clear, cohesive and compelling. Section 5. The Call to Action Encourage your audience to take the next step. A call to action, or CTA, is an invitation for your reader to take a specific action. It could be anything from leaving a comment to signing up for a newsletter. Here's how to write effective CTAs. Be clear and concise. Tell your audience exactly what you want them to do. Create a sense of urgency. Use phrases like join now or don't miss out to encourage immediate action. Make it relevant. Your CTA should align with the content and benefit the reader. A well-crafted CTA can boost engagement and help you achieve your writing goals. Don't leave your audience hanging. Give them a clear next step. Section 6. Real World Examples. See the magic in action. Let's look at some examples of engaging intros. Have you ever wondered why some blog posts keep you glued to the screen while others have you clicking away? This intro uses a relatable question to hook the reader. Imagine this. You're about to give a presentation and your heart is racing. This intro uses vivid imagery to draw the reader in. In today's fast-paced world, capturing your audience's attention is more important than ever. This intro starts with a strong statement and highlights the relevance of the topic. Notice how these intros use different techniques to grab the reader's attention and set the stage for the rest of the content. Section 7. Common mistakes to avoid. Keep your intros strong. Here are some common intro mistakes to avoid. Being too wordy. Get to the point quickly. Using cliches. Avoid overused phrases that bore the reader. Burying the lead. Don't save the most important information for last. Sounding too formal. Write in a conversational tone to connect with your audience. By avoiding these pitfalls, you can ensure your intros are strong, engaging and effective. Section 8. Practice makes perfect. Hone your skills. Like any skill, writing captivating intros takes practice. 
Here are some tips to improve. Read widely. Pay attention to the intros of articles, books and blog posts you enjoy. Write regularly. The more you write, the easier it becomes. Get feedback. Ask a friend or colleague to read your writing and give you honest feedback. Remember, even experienced writers revise and refine their intros. Don't be afraid to experiment and find what works best for you. Section 9. Conclusion. Write engaging content every time. Crafting compelling intros is a valuable skill that can elevate your writing and captivate your audience. By following the steps and tips outlined in this guide, you'll be well on your way to writing intros that hook your readers from the first sentence. Now go out there and write something.